How you guys doing? This is a brand new video from myself and we're going to be reacting to Hydroneer Journey to Volkidius, which is the brand new DLC coming to Hydroneer this year. Now I saw the trailer and I was like, hey, I'm going to have to make a video about this because I've seen a few things in there that I really like the look of and I want to share my thoughts with you about what we're going to see. Now, obviously, Max does announce that this is a standalone DLC. It is going to cost extra money, and I'll talk about that at the end of this. I want to run through this and basically just see what's all going on and just talk about it as we go. Already, it's all good. Ooh. Nice town centre. That's a big crystal. Did you... Hold on, we're going to have to go back already. Where is, there it is. Oh, that was really quick. Look at the side of that shard. It's amazingly big. I like it. It looks flat though. Very, very flat. Ooh. That was the forge. Burnville. Nice. Oh, cool. Look. We get like the Aura Borealis. The Northern Knights. That's cool. Okay, so we're looking at a new set of piping. These have all got holes. These are exhaust pipes. Like, so if you get like a normal pipe, it's solid. An exhaust pipe has like air holes in it. It gets rid of pressure. This is pretty cool. I'm not sure where these pipes are going up here, but... Are these new like heart drills? Okay, we're pickaxing. That's good. Okay, that's white... Is that white crystals? Whoa. This is big. I don't even know what the. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but uh, this is a this is a tow truck. Dude, these are new piping. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I don't. Okay. Are these these are new harvesters. Ah, uh, okay. I'm I'm seeing this like up here. I think we still have a problem with like. <laughs> When things get stuck on the edge, that looks like it's got stuck on the edge. <laughs> oh, new crystal. Look like a diamond. Whoa. What the smeg? Is this a? This has got to be a new drill because it's not a harvester. There's nothing feeding into it. So this is a new drill. I like it. Is the king! The king has come back! No way! There's a motorbike! It's a motorbike with a sidecar, so multiplayer, you can t you can drag your mate around. That's pretty cool. Scrap that. Nice. Look at the size of this beast. So over here, this looks like the motorcycle, which is... It looks like it's only 1,500. Oh, that could be 7,500. I don't know. This is 4,200. Okay, so that's going to be 1,500. This is 4,200. And the new truck is 550 quid. So that's pretty cheap, actually. I don't even know what's going on. Love the bike, though. That's cool. That's the forge. Oh, my God. April 5th, 2024. To put this into perspective, I would normally be on the beta team. I haven't seen a beta invite to this. So I'm hoping very soon we might get jumped into this so we can give it a quick run through and everything. But April 5th's not that far away. So what, we're January, February, March, April. we got three months until Hydroneer. I was actually predicting it was going to come out in May because it would fall into like the four-year anniversary of Hydroneer. That's not bad. Yeah. What's up, gamers? Hi, so, Max. we are making a DLC. Journey cool. to Volcalidus is six times the size. That's a big map. Like, six times the size? So, I mean, the size of the original maps, like, it's changed a little bit over the time. So, when it comes six times the map, this is adding in, like, the Ice Helm section as well. So, that's that's pretty big size of the original base game. As well as this, it comes with a whole host of new mechanics, some of which I'm going to be talking about today. It's going to be $10 and it's going to launch on April 5th. So 
Okay, so I'm going to address this now because I knew this was going to come. I know people are bitching and moaning that the DLC is going to cost you money, but don't forget, Hydronir came out three years ago and it's only a tenner, right? Or eight, nine quid, or however much it is in your country, right? So it's only a tenner. So that was three years ago. What makes you think that they're going to work for free? They're going to put out a DLC. They're putting it out. It's six times bigger than the original game and it's £10. The studio need to eat as well. They're going to, you know, they're it's slowing down on revenue. They need to make a bit more money to pay for the development team to carry on this project. Ten quid bloody cheap, considering the size of the actual game. So, if you're going to moan about it, maybe consider not buying another Call of Duty game this year. Or another AAA game that's going to cost you 70, 80, 90, even 100 pounds just to go out and buy the same old crap you played last year. And the year before. And the year before. What are some of these new mechanics that I'm talking about? Well, the first thing is lava. All the machines now are lava powered. There'll okay. still be a use for water. Water will still be used to power belts as it is in the base game. But this water will have to be refined from ice. In this DLC... Dawn Rest. This is, it, this is me being a bit of a grammar Nazi right now, but I would call this Dawn's Rest. Like, you know, the dawn of the sun coming up and it turns into, like, morning. Dawn's rest sounds better than dawn. You're not able to pump water. But go, I'm going to say this. This is probably going to be our starter claim because of the equipment that we've got here. We've got our spade, our bucket, and our pan. I reckon dawn rest is, our, is like ember cradle. Water from lakes and rivers and the sea. Instead, you have to refine it from ice chunks dug up from the well. This is something you're going to have to strategize as well in your place. That is... I like it. Through. The ice appears more commonly on the upper surfaces of the game, so it might be a smart tactic to... Scoria Chamber? I'm not sure what this is, but it's saying that it's a... a shovel with a flame above it. Maybe this is a forge? I don't know. Build a mining operation on the surface above a mining operation lower down to make sure you're still getting ice to power your belts. Okay, so going by what he's just said, we're going to have to be dual fueling. We, when I say dual fueling, it literally comes down to you're going to have your starter plant up top, which is going to be mining ice. So you're going to be mining ice, chucking it into something, and it'll be feeding your plant, which will be lower below. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting into this. A new interesting thing. Hold on, this new claim? That whatever this Scoria chamber is, it's 2,000 credits. The thing we're doing with this DLC is we're getting rid of tiered drills and harvesters. Ooh. So they're getting rid of everything we know about the original game. Instead of them, we're just Fantastic. having one tier of drill and harvester, and players will progress through tiered stores when rebuilding. New Glade Shelter from the Elements. Why have I got this feeling that we're going to be like dealing with like volcanic eruptions and that's why there's a big dome above this place? New Glade. So New Glade is this large dome town in Volcalidus. Inside New Glade you'll be assisting the museum as well as building stores. It's pretty. I feel that this is probably, it's either domed off for one reason where it's like it's supposed to be like an Eden paradise or it's domed off because of volcanoes. There's different stores to craft, a tier 1, 2 and 3 store, as well as some other things like a jeweller and a ticket office. These are in different spots around the town and you can choose where you want to... Cool. So the idea behind this is we're rebuilding the city. All good? I'm all good for a bit of a city builder. You want to face each store. This is the way that you progress through the game. Now, one of those of stores show. is the ticket office. This ticket office allows you boat access to Mott's Island. Mott's Island is accessible by boat. And on this island, you can buy brand new vehicles for the game, as well as a fun little time trial area. One of these new vehicles is the Hydro Hauler. It's a very, very large truck, and it's got a crane on it. This crane oh can God. pick up things. To put this into perspective, I thought the truck that we used to drive around in was quite big. These are actually powered by lava. They're not powered by water. That the glowing bits in the tops are actually lava. They're not. They're not water. Things that are very heavy cool. that the player can otherwise not carry. Things like massive drills and harvesters, and also these strange new buff stones that you'll find in the world. Now we don't actually know what to call. 
What are those big stones they have in Scotland? The ones that they actually use for like strength testing, like villages and stuff. That's what this reminds me of. These new items. So if you have any ideas throughout this video, pop them in the comments below and we'll have a look. These large icy buff stones can be taken buff to the stones. shattered outpost Ooh, to be buff refined. Stone. When they're placed in the refinery, their icy exterior will melt down and reveal inside a stone. This item can then be used while masterwork forging. You can take this item and throw it into the masterwork forge and it will apply a random boost to an item that you're crafting. This, for instance... Cool. So we're getting random boosts. This is going to be pretty cool. What's it down here? Um, let me just click over. Item buffs. This cool. could make a larger hole when using a... Speed bonus, output size bonus. So we... Oh, wow. We can boost the size of our stuff. Uh, works faster when better water pressure. Takes damage the deeper you dig, the better the resources. Okay. So I wonder if they're going to have like the auto repair system we can like work with on this. Pickaxe. Or we'll it can make a drill work quicker. But beware. These boosts sometimes have defects. They'll sometimes slow down your drills or oh, make your pickaxe no. dig smaller holes. We think this is a really cool addition to the DLC and players will have a lot of fun rolling for different items to get their preferred stats. So if you have any ideas for what this item could be called, pop it in the comments and we'll have a look at some of these suggestions and maybe yours could be what we call it in the end. Of course, there's going to be new resources Shattered Breach. Oh, that sounds like a toilet destroyer. ...and dig sites with this DLC. Instead of going into them today, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to discover when you get this DLC. Cool. Now, one thing to take note of with this DLC is you won't be able to take items from the base game over to the DLC island. This is so we could have a lot more freedom with the design of the DLC instead of having to rely on factors from bringing in items from the base game over there. I get that. And the reason why they're doing it is because if you take too much over to a new thing and it's not programmed properly, it could cause some horrific problems. So also because this is a separate DLC, it's big, it's it's standalone. So it's basically a whole new game working on a different sort of section that you can't interact with the other one. That's fair. I get yeah, that, that's fine. Now, if you're not interested in picking up this DLC, don't worry. With this DLC, there's going to be some updates that'll be applied to the base game as well. These updates will include things like a better building system. Now That's you'll good. be able to snap items while you're placing them instead of them just being kind of placed in midair. You'll be able to see a bit easier as well at night now. We've raised the kind of darkness. Hey! <laughs> He's turned up the gabber in the game. I hate night cycle in this game. It's the only thing I don't like about Hydraineer. Oh, and the fact that logic gets too complicated, I can't compute. But... Gamma was always a problem. Right? That's why I always use the hourglass. I don't like the night cycle. ...that you see in shadows. This will also apply for when you're down deep in a cave. You won't have to kind of crank up your gamma anymore. We've also been able to reduce... This place is called Waterside. It's, no, it's not near any water. Oh, there's water there. Okay, it's on the side. But there is, there's like lava there as well. This looks like quite a small claim. Like it's very, It looks very small in comparison to, like let's say, South Hope reduce the game size as well and there's loads of other small changes like the shard having a brand new model these can all be found when the dlc is released in the patch notes in the main menu like with all of our previous other updates we're going to be doing a beta for this dlc if you want yes. more information about that you can head over to our discord server we host everything over there to do with our betas if you'd like any information about this you can find it on our welcome page in our discord server good discord i will stick by what i have always said the hydroneer discord is one of the best discords i've ever been a part of so if you have any questions about hydroneer people will talk to you over there it's a good discord people are very helpful i'm over there as well and i try and help as many but there are people on that discord who know more than me so if you get helped by one of them you're in good hands all the information is over there about how our point scoring system works. Now, if this DLC is something that you want to pick up, head over to the description down below. There is a link to the store page, which is live right now. If you wishlist the game, it tells Steam that you're interested in it, and then Steam kind of pushes it up out a bit further. So yeah, not does. only do you get a nice no notification when it goes live, but it'll also help us out in 
kind of spreading the message to everyone else who might not have seen this video. We've been working on this DLC for months now and we are really, really excited to show it off to you guys. I know we've been kind of quiet for the last few months as well. We kind of wanted to get everything together before showing it off. Of course, we also still have merchandise. We oh, I need to get myself a new t That's what this t-shirt used to be until I got a Duff one. So I had a good t-shirt and I had this one and this one fell apart. Like all of the print came off. I was very upset. So we've got these t-shirts, we've got the pipe plushies, we've got the Good t-shirt though, like, real good quality. Uh, so if you're interested in any of that, links are in the description the below as usual. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next video. Very cool, I like it. I like the animation style. It looks very much like, obviously they used the same model system from the original game. They've just made it look nicer. I like the snow effects. I like the volcano constantly just bellowing smoke and writhing fear into our eyes that it might erupt one day. Genuinely quite impressed. Let's have a look. I like this. This truck is amazing. This thing looks fantastic. I like the fact it's massive as well. Like, this is going to be bigger than the cropper. So, being able to pick up a, a truck is just, <laughs> that's going to be so cool. All right, yeah, this is this has got me all, like, geekified. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I hope I get into the beta. Obviously, if I get into the beta, I can't tell you guys that I'm in the beta because you put, you're under NDA when you get into a beta or anything when it comes to, like, spoiling stuff. <laughs> if I get into the beta, I will be, I'm going to have to build a whole new set of videos. I'm looking forward to this. This is like a project that I've been wanting to do for a while because I've, I've wanted like the next thing and Hydroneer is the, like the next thing for me. And if this goes through, the update's massive and there is so much to cover. I'm set for like a year. I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself. And live streams, we're going to be streaming this. I'm going to be videoing this. I'm going to be having fun with this. This is going to be a good... I actually, I've got to finish off the achievements for the old game then. I got three months to do that, right? Yeah, cool. Right, so at some point I will be doing live streams about this because I'm obviously wanting... I want to talk about this more with people who are going to come in to chat and everything, but I have to finish all the achievements for the original Hydroneer because there's going to be more. Excellent. All right, okay, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, l l hit the like button. Go to Foulball Hangover's YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the first comment. Go and check out their channel. Go and check out their Discord. Discord's amazing. It's really cool. And it's full of like-minded hydroneers. And it's all right. So until my next video, live stream, or whatever else I do over here, peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, month, week, or wherever you're watching this. And I'll catch you all later. A-boom! Fist bump to you.